I was I was a late attending college student because I was uh, I was about uh, I I did temp, some tech school before attending Carroll, but I was about 23 or 24. I just decided I wanted to follow my dreams. I wanted to pursue my dream of being a communicator uh, in 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 doing radio broadcasting. You know, being being on the radio station, hosting several different radio shows. Phone number here is 262-524-7699. Let's get back to music. Through hosting radio shows, I've been able to mentor uh, college students and high school students, you know, um, alike. Um, I teach a summer class uh, through the Carroll Academy program um, called Introduction to Radio Broadcasting for, for high school students. He tells the kids, you know, you can be world changers, and he really wants to be a difference maker, and he is. He's, he's just such a powerful personality. Um, he just makes such a great impact wherever he is. He makes people feel welcome. He encourages people. He gives spiritual guidance. He is really an inspiration. I think everyone has gifts. Um, blindness is a blessing to me in so many ways. And people think that, oh, what do you mean by that? How could blindness be a blessing? It must be, you know, a struggle. You know, you must be, you know, riding the struggle bus every day, you know? And I'm like, no, no, because you get to reach out to people in so many ways. I think Greg is a great example of what people can do with the abilities that they have been given in life. And Greg has never um, focused on anything, any disability, anything negative in his life. He is always focused on positive. I, I believe he volunteers his life away. Uh, he just loves to, to, to keep busy. You're not picked volunteer of the year of Waukesha County for not being involved. You are not given the keys by the mayor to the city of Waukesha because you're not involved. He is involved in every aspect of the city and the social things that are going on on campus at, at Carroll, around the community of Waukesha, uh, church involvement that he has. It just, he, he, he frequents coffee shops and that's a great place to network and network he does. Greg loves Carroll University. You can't have a conversation with Greg without him mentioning how much he loves Carroll University, um, how much he believes in the students. I think that he learned an awful lot being at that university and in that community that really, truly embraced him for who he was. And so Greg took that and used that as a springboard and, you know, with the radio station and writing for the paper, the contacts that he maintains with the current students and the, the students that he was with back in 08. It's amazing. We all think about our weaknesses first, right? We all think about or what we can't do more than what we can do. But we need to change that mindset. We need to fix that mindset and really focus on the things that we can do. I just really, really get excited about, about the potential that's in each one of us. I'm, I'm just really, really excited that that uh, Carol would honor me. Congratulations, Greg. I can't think of anyone who deserves this award more than you. Thank you, Carol. I love being a pioneer. I think that there's a lot to that name, and I intend to be an ambassador, um, ambassador and go Pios.